Hello, my awesome and amazing Sagittariuses. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Sagittarius viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Okay. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Let's see here. Power of number nine. Power of number seven. And power of number 10. Okay, looks like we are going to the number 26. Some of you Sagittariuses are dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. You could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio born in the month of October. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer born in the month of June. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. You could also be dealing Dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. However, picking up on more strong Pisces energy through the number 12. However, you could also be dealing with another Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. And yes, a lot of you Saggies were born at the latter part of November. That is true. Strong Scorpio and Aries energy coming in through the number 16, as well as Aries energy through the number one and also the number zero. Strong Aquarius energy through the number 17, as well as more Leo energy coming in through the number 19. But either way, <clears throat> some of you guys could have been born in 1960, 1961, 1962, 1967, or 1969. You could have been born in 1970, 1971, 1972, 1976, or 1979. You could have also been born in 1990. 1991, 1992, 1996, or possibly 1997 for some of you. But going to the power of number 26 for the beautiful star sign of Sagittarius. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Sagittarius viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. Uh, the five of pentacles. Somebody left you out in the cold, Sag, or you're feeling annihilated, ghosted, rejected. This could be through... You know, if this is a lover, a friend, fam, you know, family member, etc. Sorry, Toto's a little rambunctious this morning. Right now, you could feel down on your luck or you're going through a lack conscious mentality. Some of you guys may be battling or struggling with your finances right now, but I feel like this five of pentacles is more, it's more on an emotional level. You okay, Toto? Okay. So I feel like the Five of Pentacles is more on an emotional level here. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, something here will improve as far as your finances are concerned. Some of you guys are dealing with Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You're hoping that a situation is also going to work out for you. So whether this is, again, in regards to a romantic situation or a family dynamic, a lot of times, like as far as like romantic energy, whenever I see the eight of pentacles, that means that somebody wants to work in on the connection or they have to prove their trust. Okay. You may be having a lot of trust issues, Sag, with a lot of people right now. A lot of you have thought about being the bigger person, but the truth is don't walk back into the lion's den. You know, if you've gone through a lot of toxicities or narcissistic abuse, don't walk back to try to be the bigger person because it's going to be like they want you to apologize for their poor behavior. They want you to apologize to them, even though they are the perpetrators. Okay. 
So be very mindful when it comes to somebody trying to come back into your life to want to work in on a situation because I feel like a lot of the energy is just going to be the same old, same old scenario and it's going to feel, it's just going to put you back on a vicious cycle. A lot of you Sagis have to go through a healing phase right now. I'm going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. You came closer than anyone. So this person, if you're dealing with somebody and they went off to a third party, they could have ghosted you, rejected you, left you out in the cold, but now their higher self is claiming that you came closer than anybody. But if they felt that you were number one, Sag, they wouldn't have left you in the first place. I say you're number one, but this person made you feel less than. They could have criticized you for the things that you didn't have versus the things that you did have. You know, so this person could have been very highly materialistic. So when they're saying like you came closer than anyone, that means uh, they haven't exactly found a better replacement. I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah, this could be a friend, family member, former lover. They're afraid. This person lost themselves for a little while. They got caught up in distractions. They choose. They, they, they were choosing. They were choosing to have the distractions. It was a choice. I feel like this person knew exactly what they were doing. But they are afraid to contact you. Let's go into the Kipper deck. Trusted ancestors, this person that Sag is dealing with, what's going on here? An official person. You know, your life is going to elevate Sag. You have to keep your eye on the prize right now. Just keep your nose to the grindstone because you have a lot of goals and dreams that need to be fulfilled here. But this could be like when we're talking about an official person, some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who is in the military or is a government official, etc. cetera. Um, but usually somebody who's in, like in a higher position or maybe somebody who is considered, quote unquote, the monarchy of the family. Um or this person needs to step up to the plate. It's like they need to do a 180 degree turnaround. Not a 360 because it just brings them back to the same old, same old crap. So they need to elevate their life or you are going to elevate your life. You're going to move on. Yeah, because you've got great fortune. You've got great fortune coming in your direction. Meaning everything that you are meant to have by your birthright, Sag... Your life is going to get better because you choose, Sag, uh, Sag, to make your life better. Focus in on you. It's on them if they're afraid to contact you. Probably because they don't know what to say. They're, they're more than likely their tongue twisted. The universe is going to reward you in other ways. Whereas these people or this past love situation left you out in the cold, made you feel like you were nothing or like a second class citizen. You know what I mean? So count your rewards. Stay in the attitude of gratitude right now for the things that are working well in your life. And that energy frequency will start to build upon in layers. Okay? Okay. You know what is buried deep down inside of your heart and who you are and what you're made of. And these people made you feel like crap or this love relationship. I'm going to go into the after tarot. There can also be an upcoming or impending job interview. Yeah. You're going to rise to the top. Your life is going to change. 
But this is based off of your actions, Sag. Some of you were dealing with a gold digger taking advantage of you. Yeah. Seven of Swords. This person, they really screwed up. They, tri they tripped up on their own thieving, shall we say. Or somebody wants to take advantage of you because you are moving into some kind of higher status on a financial level. Trust me, there are going to be people who are not allowed to sit at your table of abundance. Because they weren't there for you on an emotional level. They're afraid to contact you because they know that they lied or they took money from you. This person may owe you money. But you're gonna you're you're gonna have this what I feel is this bounce back ability. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles Empress status. Some of you could have gotten pregnant with this person, but you've got a sense of completion that's coming in. Your dreams, your goals are at the forefront right now, and this person doesn't even deserve what I feel to be in your presence. They don't deserve to be in your presence at all. Because you're rising above the noise. You're rising above the trauma, and you will. However people have made you feel, made you feel like you were nothing, Yeah, clarifying the Empress. There's also passion here through the Ace of Wands. Creative new projects, a big new start. You've got new beginnings coming in your direction, but this is clearly based off of choices, good choices that you're going to make for your life and what you have to do. Because, you know, it's not all in common in a family dynamic. It's not all in common to outgrow your immediate family of origin. Because in truth, like even if you're successful, the people in your family, they're not going to acknowledge you. They're not. Deep down inside, buried in their subconscious mind, they're going to be jealous of you. They're going to be jealous and we can't, we can't control that. It, it, it sucks to feel that way. It sucks to feel that vibrational frequency. It doesn't even matter. These people are insecure who are, you know, in and around you and you're rising to the top. Some of you guys have royal lineage, okay? You need to start doing your genealogy work because you may find out that you have a great, 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 great grandparent that was actually a king or a queen. I can't promise you that, but that's where you have to do your own research. But you may have dukes or earls, you know, in your family tree line. Especially if you have roots to England and Ireland and Scotland. So that's just an example. But you're meant to rise to the top. These people have disrespected you in so many different ways, Sag. Somebody was trying to take advantage of you or your good nature or thought that you would play small. You're not small, Sag. You're bigger than these people or this love relationship dynamic. But the Ace of Wands can also talk about pregnancy. So fair warnings for arms. If that's not what you want right now. Because this person may be coming back when they see your status is elevating or they hear it through the grapevine. And with this seven of swords, with this seven of swords, people trying to take advantage of you. Yeah, it could be family, ten of cups. But see, you're meant to be in a very harmonious, romantic, loving connection. Yeah. They started a lot of conflict or drama. This is the five of wands, but in the after tarot, it's like eventually they will put their wands down or they will halt on their accusations or the nitpicking things that they say. 
It's because your status is going to shut them up. What are they going to say to you? What could they possibly say? And even if they choose to say something negative, that's on them. You have to keep moving forward, Sag. Because you have rewards that are supposed to be bestowed upon you for your hard-earned efforts. Because you're listening to the higher calling of what Mother God, Father God wants you to do. And I'm not saying you're under Mother God, Father God's thumb like, you have, like you're a puppet on a string. You are of the divine creation. You are not separated from source. But these people are so mentally programmed um, that have rejected you, ghosted you, annihilated you, made you feel like you were nothing. How, how wrong they were. So keep on keeping on right now, Sag. Do you. You have to focus in on your happiness. You are the only one that is going to create your happiness. It's not your new partner. It's not the person from the past. It's not your family. You know, all that we expect from family is emotional support. To know that there are people there for us, but there were people who left you out in the cold, made you feel like you were nothing. Now you're going to rise. And now they're going to try to creep back in to see what they can get out of you, but they are afraid to contact you because your, your social status is going to rise. And that's based off of your hard-earned efforts. So... My awesome and amazing Sagittarius, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe and until next time, take care.